In this tutorial in Tyler Pro, we're going to look together at how to use textures to change the coloring of our paragraphs. I have on the screen a slide from Tyler Pro 1.5, which came bundled with my copy of PowerDirector. And it's going to be the first title in a movie about a state fair. So how can I make this more patriotic, more red, white, and blue? Well, one thing I can do is I can take the words State Fair, this paragraph here, and I can go ahead and try to make it maybe red and white with a blue uh, border. So I'm going to take my Gradient tool, click on Gradient, and I'll move the two boxes, the two circles, in my box. Uh, so one's at the top and one's at the bottom. We'll, uh, we'll do red, a bright red at the top. Click on OK. And at the bottom, we'll do a white. Well, let's do a blue. I'll do a blue. Okay, and then I can do around the border. I click on my 2D tool, and I do outline. And let's take our outline and make our outline white. And we'll make it thick so it stands out. So now I have red, white, and blue, but the problem is it doesn't look red, white, and blue. It looks like uh, red to purple with uh, a, a white outline. So let's go ahead and undo that. I'll hit Control Z a couple times. Let me show you a better way to do that. We're going to click on our State Fair again. And instead of using a color or a gradient, because I can't have a gradient with three colors, how about a texture? I'm going to click on the texture uh, uh, dot, and then I'm going to click inside the white square. That will get me to my textures. Now there's a default file location for texture. I'm not going to use that. I'm in a different place. I'm going to use this red, white, and blue graphic. And notice immediately what it did was it copied the graphic proportionally into my font. And this looks pretty good. I could take that now, and then if I want to, I could put an outline on it. Um, we could keep it red. I could uh, do blue or white, or I could go, let's let me try a, a black here and see what that looks like. That's not too bad. We'll make it a little thicker to make it stand out. So there's a red, white, and blue all off of a graphic. Now, if I want to change the graphic, I'll go back to my face here. And I have another one that I could try. I could I do a stripe. And there's a red, white, and blue striped off of a graphic. So we're using our texture for this one. I'm going to go back to the first one. I like that a little bit better. And you can create your own graphic with uh, different proportions of colors. You could put the red on top and the blue in the middle, white in the bottom, and then just click on it when you're done using some uh, software like... Uh, uh, you would find on the internet. But um, that's one way to do that. Now let's do take the 2017 and do the same thing. So what I want to do is click here. And now I'm going to not use a color. I'll cancel that out. I'm going to click on texture like I did before. Click on the white box. And now I'm going to use this American flag. And now I have an American flag graphic here. Let's add an outline on this one as well. I'll take it. This time, uh, let's go with white. And I'll click on OK. And we'll thicken it up a little bit. And that's not too bad. That's pretty cool. So if I want to go ahead and change this, right now I have stretch to paragraph. Watch what happens when I turn this off. Okay, it does a flag for each individual letter in my paragraph. So I kind of like the stretch to paragraph here because it gives me the image of a bit of a uh, American flag here. So these are some ways in which you can use the uh, on the face of the lettering. You have to be in the face. You can use the texture tool to change the look and feel of letters without doing a lot of individual styling. All you have to do is hook it to a graphic that you uh, find or create that will give you the look and feel that you want in your project as you title these in Tyler Pro. And if I'm in uh, PowerDirector here, all I do is click on the X at the upper right, and it creates my little graphic here. And I can go ahead and and uh, play it, and it will it's static. It doesn't move, but I could add motion later. We'll show you about that. 
but uh, there's my little graphic in Tyler Pro within PowerDirector. Thank you.